I swim because it helps me forget. It helps me to forget that my cancer keeps coming back, threatening to steal the air from my lungs and stop my heart from beating. Today I swim so that hopefully there will be a different future, a better future, a future in which someone like myself has a chance to live. So when Grace wasn't able to swim in the hospital, she'd asked if I would swim for her. When your daughter asks as one of their last wishes for you to swim in their place, and swim across America, you're gonna find a way to do it. We don't deserve inspirational stories, but we do need them. Breathe in, open your eyes, stand up. Steady your mind, fall down. people make waves in their lives they they shake it up they uh, get noticed and so that's something that grace did with ferocity she made waves toward a cure for cancer by making waves in the water it's not just about swimming it's about changing the world so i brought my umbrella let it fall Grace lived for 14 years. Her life is not just about cancer, right? It's about hope and having faith and believing that better things can come. You know what courage is? Courage is not letting fear eliminate hope. So Vicki, I have to ask you, what was Swimming a Mile like? It was amazing. It was, you know, I had Grace on my mind the whole time. And when I would get tired, I would do 14 strokes, 14 strokes, 14 strokes. This is Vicki Bunky, team captain for Team Amazing Grace. She's going to do 14, 14 swims this year. Not a swimmer. Are you a swimmer? Am I, am I... I'm a runner who swims. A runner who swims. <laughs>